What up guys and girls, CSS Cody here. We've got a little treat for you today. Look at this little bit of gadgetry. Absolutely amazing. Now, first look of it, you think, what can it be? What can it do? Now, it's an open source development board, basically, where you can program this to do pretty much anything you want. It can be used as a TV box as well, so don't worry about that. And I have had Kodi 17.4 uh, running on it like an absolute dream. It is rapid. It ships default with Android 7.0 on it. So don't worry about that. It's got 3 gig of DDR4 RAM. It's got dual Wi-Fi, Ethernet, and a 40-pin GPIO connector. So you can basically stack these on top of each other. It's nicely set out in this clear case. It's not um, glass, it's plastic, it's robust, but it helps for the venting as well, because obviously there will be no inbuilt vent or fan. And on the front, we have a USB-C, we have HDMI, we have a uh, LAN port, USB and USB also. <clears throat> on this side, we have absolutely nothing. And on the back, we have the IR ports in there as well. Uh, which you could, probably can't see but it's easier to see down there that there you have the IR ports. So overall I am very impressed with this device especially for the price of it. There is a discount going on at the moment over at Gearbest. I will link it down in the description below. It's a sweet looking device which is capable of a lot more than your everyday user will require, which is good because you can expand on what you've already got. It's fantastic as a TV box and the use of Kodi with it is rapid. I did load a build on there just to test it out and it was working absolutely mint as well. There is some games obviously available which you can download from the Google Play Store which has the app already built in on here as well. And then I'm gonna show you some gameplay and set it on high quality graphics so you can see that there is no real lag or anything at all. It really works absolutely perfect. And the fact that it's absolutely tiny and can fit in your pocket means it is completely portable as well. We have the two USBs which you can use for multiple different things. I just plugged in my keyboard and my mouse so basically I was using it as a little mini computer. You can see the beautiful air vents and the way that it's been ergonomically designed and like I keep saying the price of this is absolutely fantastic. So I would certainly recommend getting your hands on one of these. We have a USB port. That was what I put my mouse in as well. Then we have the LAN port, the HDMI, the USB-C, and a further USB. And then on the side here, we have the power, the reset, and the function modes as well, which you don't really need to touch, but they're there if you want. Because as soon as you plug it in, you get the light come on, it powers up, and you don't need to do anything else. So let's go and check out the UI and check some gaming out on it as well. So as you can see here, you've got the normal Android looking skin and theme. And then if we go into like the phone menu, we have everything all in here. We've got Chrome, which you can easily browse and do anything on the internet like you normally would. And like I was saying about how well supported this is, here are the firmware resources. So for all of your Android, all the way down, we've got Marshmallow, all the way up to the latest nugget and also look at all these it even does run ubuntu as well i did say at the start it also has dual os so if you wanted to run ubuntu and android then you can or ubuntu and marshmallow version as well you've got a ton of resources from within here i'm going to link this down in the description below so you can have a look at what's capable of this device but it really is that good you can just mess around with it as much as you want with browsing obviously here we have youtube it comes up with the mobile version and it's easily browsable and everything's just nice quick and snappy which is what i like so let's go into wow i didn't even know what that one was i'll probably get like copyrighted for something on here 
we'll just pause that and like I say as well this is coming from Gearbest I believe they're the only retailer they're the only ones I could find and there's some other little um, tutorials on here showing you what the uh, device is capable of this one is a real good watch so certainly check that one out and that is not me that is some uber geep from Gearbest as well like I say it ships with Android 7.0 I did say at the start it's like Raspberry Pi but just overloaded. As you can see it's running a better CPU as well. Got 1.5 gigahertz octo core, 3 gigabyte of DDR4 RAM compared to the uh, Raspberry Pi 1 gigabyte. Got 64 gig of ROM as well. Look at all this. It just absolutely beats everything with a video decode of 10 bit 4K. So there's lots of other accessories which you can purchase as well. Um, I'm using this through the HDMI and I've just got it USB'd into a plug. So like I said before you can power it off a Mac or a computer, anything with a USB, well a powered USB, it will work on. It doesn't take much power to run this, it's absolutely fantastic. I'm overly impressed with this. Here you can see some SNES games which I was running as well. So we've got tons of SNES games on here. If you want to know more on how to set all this up, then just ask me down below and I'll be more than happy to show you. We've got the Play Store already in built. Kodi 17.4 running on here. We've just been into Chrome. We've got a Mega Drive emulator. So it doesn't come with any bloatware on here. It's just all good to go. So I promised I'll show you exactly how it comes packaged and it's like a little book opening up and seeing a treat inside. Now we are going to have a look at a little bit of game footage here. This is just a game downloaded from the Google Play Store. I have turned the graphics up so you can see that there's no stuttering, no buffering and no lagging on there. So let's go and check out this Demolition Derby game. I will let you know now I have not played this game before. I am just playing it from using the keyboard controls and you can see that I am one, a very bad driver and two, just not good at this game. But you can see that the game is running nice and smooth <laughs> with the crash physics in motion and working. As you can see it handles graphics really well, like even like gaming physics and everything and, and just I seems to work. There's no lagginess, no nothing. No I am really awful at this default, game anyway. Uh, so there's just one of the games. Just downloaded off the uh, Google Play Store. Just thought I'd give it a quick test out. It was running absolute perfect. So that was the Cadiz Vim 2. It's available from Gearbest. All the relevant information is going to be down in the description below. Plus, I have also done a comprehensive blog post on this, which further goes into the specification, the sizes, the weight, and everything to do with the device. So if you would like more information, just read down below, and I will link it, and then go and have a further look at what you can expect to get from this amazing pocket-sized device coming from Gearbest. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.